First look at Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Munchy here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Lineage OS 18.1 based on Android 11 running on the Xiaomi POCO F1. Now, as you can see, this is the unofficial build. And the good news here is that this build does not replace your TWRP recovery like the previous build did. Next up, you will see that the security patch is, of course, from December 5th, 2020. The kernel they are using is Perf kernel and SE Linux is set as enforcing. So to look for SE Linux, you can go into settings, privacy, trust, and here it is. SE Linux is set as enforcing. Now, another thing I would like to mention is that custom kernels are not supported on this build and G apps are not baked in. I am using Nix stock Google apps on this build. And yes, I do have pixel launcher. The select feature works absolutely fine. Screenshot also works without any issues. Tap on share, you have the quick share menu. Press and hold on any application and you should be able to pin it to your quick share menu. As for the volume panel, this is how the volume panel looks like. You do have the expanded volume panel as well. The button on the top can be used to switch between the different ringer modes. And this button here can be used to enable or disable live caption. As for our quick settings panel, this is how the quick settings panel look like. As you can see, you do have the blur and zoom effect in the background from Android 11. These are the different tiles which are baked in with this build. And in case you want to add more tiles, you do have the option of edit. And here are the other tiles which you can add. If you tap on the three dot menu on the top right, you only have the option of reset. So you do not get the option of changing the number of rows and columns for your quick setting tiles. Another thing, you see these arrows beside the different options. Tap on it, it is going to open the expanded settings. And if you tap on more settings, it will take you directly to the setting for that appropriate option. And yes, the screen recorder from Android 11 is baked into the build, which does let you record device audio and microphone at the same time. And once you do start screen recording, there is no lag in the UI, as was the case with some other Android 11 ROMs. The UI here is pretty smooth once the recording has started. Next up, we can head over to settings, go into network and internet, tap on the Wi-Fi name, tap on it one more time. And yes, you do have the new disconnect button from Android 11. Tap on advanced, you also have a toggle to enable or disable auto connect on a per Wi-Fi basis. Moving over to apps and notifications, see all apps and let us select the camera application. You can go into permissions, location, bam here it is four different options for permissions go back and you also have a toggle to enable or disable permissions for this application in case it is not used for some time back on the application info page go into mobile data and wi-fi and yes they have added per app network isolation with lineage os 18.1 which does let you determine if the application is allowed to use wi-fi data mobile data background data and vpn data Back on the home page of apps and notifications, you do have priority conversations baked in. Then you also have the option of enabling your notification history and you also have Android 11 bubbles along with the Android 11 Easter egg cat game working absolutely fine on this build. Moving over to battery, you do have thermal profiles and here are the different options which you have for thermals. So you have default, benchmark, browser, camera, dialer, gaming and streaming. Then you also have adaptive battery, battery light options are also present over there. Along with that, you also have battery saver and performance inside which you do have extreme power saver and you can also configure your extreme power saver to kick in at a specific percentage. Other than that, you have last full charge and the screen usage since last full charge as well. Moving over to display, you have brightness level, dark theme. So with Android 11, you can schedule your dark theme to turn on and off at a custom time as well. And once you enable dark theme, you have a toggle to enable the pure black dark theme as well. Next up, you have night light, adaptive brightness, and yes, live display is there. So you can choose your color profiles, then you can calibrate your colors, 
that is you can set up your rgbs using the sliders picture adjustment which includes adjusting the hue saturation intensity and contrast and in case you do not like your setup you always have the reset button which is going to reset back to the default values then you have styles and wallpapers so you have only one theme which is baked in but you can of course create your own custom theme and these are the different font options you have two options for the icons these are your accent color options let us choose the green one and here are the different options for the icon shapes and once all of that is done you can give it a name tap on apply and bam there it is you can see style was applied successfully working like a boss without any issues other than that in styles and wallpapers go into the wallpaper option and then if you select this option over here you will get some of the pixel 5 wallpapers like the google arts and cultures wallpaper and you can also change the grid so you can choose your icon grid size these are the different options which you have for that other than that you also have screen attention so once you enable this it is going to use the front camera and if you're looking at the screen the device will not turn off then you also have rotation settings once you enable the toggle you can configure the different angles or enable and disable them independently then you can also configure the font size the display size you can of course choose your full screen applications as well then we have lock screen so in lock screen you can add text to the lock screen toggles for enabling and disabling the media cover art and the music visualizer now playing of course is broken ambient display is present and the options of pickup hand wave pocket mode all of them are working absolutely fine no always on display on this build then you have double tap to wake prevent accidental wake up tap to sleep and wake on plug all those options do work without any issues next up we have sound so in sound you do have the option of linking and unlinking the notification and ringtone volumes in case you want increasing ring volume you have a toggle for that once you enable it you can choose your start volume and the ramp up time using the sliders tap on advanced go down you do have the new android 11 do not disturb which can be configured on people app and alarm basis and you also have toggles to enable or disable these options along with direct sound enhancer baked in next up you have security so in security you only have the option of setting up a pen password and fingerprint scanner no ir face unlock on this build right now next up we have system so in system the first option we're going to look at is buttons so in case you're using the three button style you have a toggle to invert the layout then you have edge long swipe action and this option is working absolutely fine you will notice that when you trigger this the arrows change to a double arrow setup so here it is one arrow long swipe change to double arrows and bam here it is recents in the building because that is the option which i have chosen then you can use the power button to end the call or you can use it for long press and enable the torch while the screen is off so here it is screen off long press power button torch working absolutely fine without any issues and double tap to wake also works next up you can use the volume rockers to wake your device answer a call control music playback in case you want to see keyboard cursor control or you want to reorient your volume buttons when you rotate the screen and in case you want to see the volume panel on the left you have options for all those things next up we have system profiles so this is something which you can set up right now it is set as default but let us say i choose automobile go into the settings i can now configure triggers for wi-fi bluetooth and all those options so this is something which is very nifty next up you can customize the status bar so quick pull down minus set as off let us say right swipe from the right expanded swipe from the left not expanded then what all icons you want to see in the status bar these are the different toggles which you have where do you want to see the clock left or right do you want to see the seconds or not what is the am pm style you're looking for what is the battery status style you want icon portrait circle or text and once you enable circle you can choose where you want to see the battery percentage then you have the option of configuring your brightness slider in your quick settings panel auto brightness button and brightness control by sliding across the status bar next up we can select advanced go into gestures system navigation as you can see three different options for navigation three button navigation 
two button navigation and full screen gestures tap on the setting icon and you have a toggle to enable or disable the navigation hint bar at the bottom of the screen so bam you can now hide the bar at the bottom you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge now the only option which i would appreciate over here is the option to hide the back arrow other than that if you're going to developer options you can of course scroll down and you should have the option to hide the notch so you have something called display cutout here it is hide the notch bam notch hide working without any issues the only problem which you might have is the corners are not rounded next up you can have a look at safety net so safety net is not going to pass out of the box you will have to root your device enable magisk hide and then install the magisk module which is linked in the description of the video once you do that you should be able to pass safety net and use your banking apps without any issues now, as for your media controls in the status bar they work absolutely fine you can of course switch between multiple devices as well without any issues the previous build had issues with bluetooth those have since been fixed on this current build next up we can check for youtube media playback so let us play the video on your screen right now volume has been muted so that i do not get a copyright strike as you can see playback is absolutely fine live caption works without any issues next up we can check for picture in picture mode so bam here it is picture in picture mode is also working without any issues on this current build now in terms of app opening animations here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see there are no jitters and no lags google feed everything is super fast and super smooth recents super fast as well we can also try to switch between the different applications so here it is switching between the different applications also works in terms of wide wine we can open the drm info application as you can see security level is l1 however the surprising thing is when i search for netflix in the play store it does not show up and i'm not sure whether it is a rom issue or some issue with the poco f1 and before i forget ok google hot word is broken across most aosp roms based on android 11 for now and there it is peeps that was our first look at lineage os 18.1 based on android 11 running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you